So people were together. That's the reason. This togetherness is absolutely important. And in order to be together, you need to have a big heart. Without a big heart, you won't be together. If you're selfish, you cannot unite. If you are selfless, you will be able to unite. But there is one condition, a simple one. We cannot allow oppression to continue in the name of unity. Where you say, don't worry, one person is oppressing another. And you say to the person, never mind, don't worry. Let him continue to oppress because we need unity. That is not fair. You cannot do that. The hadith says, You should encourage and enjoin that which is correct and you should forbid that which is bad and you should stop the oppression of the oppressor. When someone is doing wrong, stop the person. That's what Allah says. Why? Because then the hadith says, if you don't do that, if you don't do that, if you don't stop the wrongdoer doing the wrong, a time will come that Allah will punish you to the degree that when you make dua to him to alleviate that suffering, he won't listen to you because you didn't listen to him. All these are part of our duties unto Allah. This is how we will attain Jannah. This is why we are on earth. We are on earth to please Allah. That's what it is. So what does Allah want? He wants you to fulfill the rights of your parents because he created you through them. And he wants you to fulfill the rights of your broader family because he chose them as your family, kith and kin. Like I said at the beginning, if people are struggling, you start off with helping your own family first and then everybody else. And then community, society, Allah's created you in it. You're supposed to gather at least once a week for the Jumu'ah, you come together. May Allah grant us goodness. And when we meet each other, don't make someone uncomfortable greeting you. Don't immediately start, hey, you're looking like you're making a lot of money. That type of statement is actually very cutting. You are discouraging someone. Say some good things or keep quiet. Man kana billahi wal yawmil akhiri fal yakul khayran aw liyasmut. Whoever believes in Allah and the last day should say that which is upright or remain silent. Keep quiet. My brother, salamu alaikum, how are you? My sister, how are you? How is things? How's the family? Mashallah, may Allah bless you, reward you. Let dua come out of your mouth. Do you know why? When you make dua for someone else, the angels are saying ameen to the same dua for yourself. How's that? I say, may Allah bless you. The angels are saying, bless him too. May Allah grant you goodness, grant him too. So keep on making lots and lots of dua for everyone.